Uh, for the lack of any particular direction, let's go ahead and start heading towards the sunbeam, was it? Yeah. Uh, how's my inventory looking? Let's go ahead and put this in the whole metal pile. Uh, where is... we have space for this creature egg somewhere. Yes. Good. And we'll put the stalker teeth and this battery. Good. All right. We are down to minimum viable inventory. Good shit. Shit's good. Let's swim, baby. Because I swim, swim, swim. I swim, swim, swim. I swim, 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 swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming through the waters. Oh, just a blue down in the deep, deep ocean. The question is, is I wonder if they have the underwater lakes. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but there is like a heavier than water sort of thing. So you get like this really cool effect of having a, an actual underwater lake situation. I don't think they're very good to step into. Uh, the kind of thing you just look at kind of like a, ooh, neat. Like this, ooh, neat. That though, I am going to touch. It is now mine. I also went and removed that uh, music mod real quick. And already 200% improvement. We actually have the bloody music playing. <laughs> The Rav Trap. Ooh. Bacon. Yes. I wonder if the Grav Trap is how we can capture something. Ah, that'd be kind of cool. I think the plan is I'll fill my inventory up with scrap. And as I find better stuff, I'll just chuck things out and replace it with uh, preferably silver and gold. I feel like we have a lot of copper ingots right now. Not really sweating the... Um, I, I am trying to remember... I was trying to remember the... Uh, is it CU for copper? I'm trying to remember the atomic symbol for copper. Because, like, AU came to mind, you know, gold. I'm like, wait a minute, you know, is this copper? Drekkie? Come on. Think, Drekkie, think! <gasps> Bacon! Hell yeah! New blueprint acquired. I'm gonna assume the bacon lets us set these nav point kind of things. I really hope it does, because um, that would be nice. And I would like to not forget where certain things are, like that cave network. I vaguely recall where it is from the direction my habitation is. Let's see. So this is a wreckage, so we need that laser cutter for this. I don't think I have all of the items discovered to use the laser cutter. So that's going in the back of my mind. It also looks like we got some free resources. Yeah. Alright, so we got a couple titanium. Uh, we already have one of those eggs. So I guess uh, there is... I'm glad there is duplicates and multiples of blueprint items. Good thing I won't be completely screwed out if I don't pixel hunt for every single tiny bit to unlock things. They have, they can, they will have duplicates scattered somewhere. 
of some flavor. But I also will always tip my hat to a place that makes an efficient use of duplicate materials. I think that it is very important. And just really nice quality of life. Is this... Oh, the dog. It's some kind of floating kelp grass hat thing. Might even be a wig of some sort. What kind of strange and alien life form could this be? Just floating there, suspended, menacingly. We better not anger it. Oh, whoops, that was, was actually heading back to, back to home. It'd also be fun if the uh, sunbeam, just like its namesake, you know, beam of light, just pulls a, a fucking, like, light speed crash kind of thing, just like, zip! Like, well, guess you join me now. Here's your uh, lead ore and your salt deposit. Get the get the cracking, buddy. Ooh, that looks interesting. That looks like a very wide and deep network down there. Ooh, we have some land. Oh, uh, they probably want me to climb up on that mountain esque thing. I wonder if we can find some above creatures. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. Ah, this is, uh, it's getting scary. This feels very, you're about to step off the continental shelf kind of thing. Nuclear reactor blueprint detecting hey, massive yo. energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Hey yo. I know I'm just an honorary nuclear engineer, but uh maybe we'll actually become one? Eh? Eh? Massive energy signature. Well that's fucking ominous. I wonder if it's leftovers from whatever sapients visited here, used to live here. Got some, got some question marks around that. Um, I'm not seeing a way up onto this rock, but it, it's also fucking the middle of the night. So I don't really see much of anything, to be honest. You know, now I'm kind of regretting not making that flashlight, because we're just going to have to twiddle our thumbs for a minute. I ain't got shit. We've combed the desert. We ain't found shit. I can still try and keep, like, hugging the wall. See if that gets me anywhere. Feel like it's not. I keep the scanner out just in case. Oh, actually? Wait. Wait a minute. <gasps> we found a way up. Uh, let's do a self-scan real quick. See how that alien micro progress is going. Seems they're doing okay. Um... So that's the way I came. And kind of climb up here. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought it is. I wish I could climb up over there. That might let me get to the tree. I'm wondering if that massive energy signature... I wonder if, like, we're going to get close. Like, we can't even get to the sunbeam. What the frick? What are you? What the... Is that fish teleporting?
Am I in Half-Life? Did, uh... Am I Gordon Freeman? Someone put... What? Someone's thinking with fucking portals now, buddy. Ah, yes. The Bulbo Tree. For all your Bulbo needs. Is this causing it? Some kind of light... Wait, is that... Oh, that's like a building. All right, I don't want to go that way yet. Hold on. In all games, you always go away from where you're supposed to go first. That's why you always go left in roguelikes. And you always look under the waterfall. Let me scan the sky ray. Stand still! Well, thankfully, progress is- <gasps> Ah, fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Anyway. Alright, maybe this was the way I'm actually supposed to go. There seemed to be a lot of light over there. What is this? Like some kind of above-ground cave. All right. Thankfully, the sun is finally rising. Yep. That's, uh, hmm. We will explore that in a second. Dang, the sunbeam's landing pretty close. Who needs a flashlight when you can just be a schmuck? Wait, Drecky? Drecky. Oh, fuck. I don't want to be a schmuck anymore. I've chosen poorly. Oh, I got turned around. Hee hee. Okay. Um, let's... Wait, hold on. I see light. Yeah, Sky Ray, get here. Come on, stand still. There we go, buddy. All right, so I see sunlight over here. A little bit. Hear things. Oh, it's you fuckers. Fuck off. Fuck you. All right. Fuck this cave, man. All right. So it was this way. Interesting have a pipe. This really does not seem very human constructed at all. But I think we can rule out some kind of research people visiting. Unless we want to go with them being uh... Stop it! I'm trying to do science here! Alright, we're gonna get mushrooms. Always support a good, a good mushroom. <laughs> Ow! Fuck off! Alright. Let's go this way. We have 12 minutes. I need to make sure I keep an eye on that timer. Lithium! Interesting, interesting. Uh... Oh, there's nothing I can immediately use them for. Alright, so I'm gonna drop some of those. We'll drop some metal salvage as well. Actually, hold on. Can I... I'll try and throw it off. There we go. I'm sure I can pick that up later if I need it. Alright, so we're going to grab some of this lithium. Got some mushrooms. I was about to say floating mushrooms. I'm like, wait a minute. I just dropped those. Never mind. What if... This facility is why our ship crashed. Like the, the, like we saw that fish like fucking straight up teleport. Like what if it's causing distortions and like 
whatever energy it's powering or producing is interfering with the nuclear type of energy that it seemed like our ship's reactors were using. Oh, and that might, that might be why Sunbeam might crash too. Alien Arch. All right, we need to find the chevrons, okay? And we need to lock in the right chevrons. So we gotta look at insert iron cube. I do not have an iron cube to insert. Ooh, I wonder if this is gonna be a fast travel system. I wonder if this game's bigger than I'm expecting it to be. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, okay, we have about 10 minutes. I think we're doing okay on time. Yeah. Ow. Let's break our legs real quick. Yeah, who needs those? Not like we have to run anywhere. More lithium. Ooh. Nothing like some lithium batteries. Also want to make sure I grab them because I feel like they might be an above ground resource. So I don't know how much of them there are. Kind of the first time we've seen any materials diamond. you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million what credits. What the fuck? You're fucking charging me for the stuff I need to survive? Dude, no fucking way. Now nah, we're claiming, we're claiming bullshit on that. Yeah, our uh, your AI uh, that was keeping track of your tab seems to have like suddenly broke or something. Are you okay? No, oh, it's. The thing just, just shorted out, man. I uh, don't know how much I. Oh fuck me! Don't die! Don't die! No fall damage! No fall damage! No fall damage! All right, I think we're safe. That would have been so frustrating if I just walked off the edge and just murked myself. Purple tablet. Ooh. I have the tablet. I wonder if we need to take that up to the stone. I'm going to go ahead and save here. That might be like the activator thing. Which kind of makes, reminds me of uh, Dune. I think it's Uru. You have like a tablet that you have to draw symbols on. Interesting. This is very... It's always funny how like when it's time to make like alien structure. It's always like these really brutalist, blocky, bismuthy shapes they use. They make it very irregular, very odd looking. Certainly gives it that kind of alien feel. My question is, do we enter... Here? Or are we gonna have to go underwater to find an entrance? Where's the landing site? 100 meters that way? Alright. We're sticking pretty close. Um, let's see if we can get back up to the arch and see if the purple square will activate the portal. Oh, what if the what if the sunbeam arrives and then it's like, man, your AI reports you owe about three million dollars. Uh, you need to pay that off before we legally can rescue you. Like, sorry, them's the rules. You bastards. First, you ruin my beach vacation by crashing. Ooh. Is it? Purple tablet. Mmm. Delicious. 
All right, so maybe my my square theory is wrong because we have two tablets now. Unless we need like one per location. And it's like we use one tablet, we travel through, we get to the other side, it's like, <gasps> insert new tablet. And it's like, oh fuck, we stranded ourselves. Hmm, all right. So the, the, the zoomed out water texture isn't so great, but yeah, when you get close to the water, it is pretty nice. Um, where was the arch cave? Arch cave, arch cave, donde esta arch cave? I want to see what the arch cave does. I've got a purple brick. It's a purple square. You like squares, don't you? Let me give you this purple square. Oof. I need an iron cube. Drucky, you need an iron cube, not a purple square. You stupid silly worm. All right, slag it. Let's get over here. I was able to avoid fall damage last time by hugging the wall. Can I do it for this kind of drop? Hey, not even close, baby. Ha ha. Okay. All right. All right. We got more bulba bulba trees. Always love me some bulba trees. Uh, you know, a fully mature. You know, you, you plant a bulbasaur, and they will glow into a mighty and majestic bulba tree. You more lithium? You are more lithium. So we're going to go ahead and pick one of you up. <gasps> Ow! Fucking spiders. Ooh. An interior cave of some flavor. With an underwater... You got water within water, baby. That's what I'm talking about! Coral shell plate. Didn't I need that? I am a fool. Alright, so we'll intake our fluids. Eat that. Yes! Yes! I forget that some things, like, you need to break it off to put it in your inventory. I feel like there's not a consistent UI representation of that fact, which is kind of annoying. Tree leech! Oh, you sound great. Did I harvest it? Or did it break off? My inventory is full anyway. It didn't give me a full inventory warning, so I think we're good. All right, so, uh, we need to go out. I don't know where the surface is. Okay, uh, cool. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Oh, f fuck me. Oh, fuck me. <gasps> surface! Oh, surface! Alright, right and right, right back into the box of fridge horrors. Uh, uh, drowning on inside a cave like that. Alright. Alright, um... Salt. Salt on the beach. Delicious. <coughs> Um, drop that. Fuck off, crabs! Leave me alone! Ah, shit. Night's falling. Well, it's a really good thing that I got out of that cave then, because uh, without the light, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Hold on. Is that the entrance? Or is that like a... Force. Is that a force field? Is there going to be a thing blocking our way? Ooh. 
No! The third Triforce is broken! It's gone! Oh! It's for force field control. Obviously! Everyone knows the purple square. Purple rectangles control force fields. Like, I don't need to tell y'all that. Like, we both know. We, we all know that. Um... That's why it's obvious our character knew that too. This looks really cool. So I'm saving because like, I don't know if like, I'm not gonna be, I, I feel like I'm gonna be jubated. I feel like I have a 90% chance the sunbeam, that timer is a jubate. But just in case this actually like ends the game and this is a type of ending, I wanna be able to reload and not end the game, you know? I'll just uh, pull a uh, pull a survivor and we'll stay on this planet. I remember actually liking Waterworld. Uh, moving. Is that an alien planetary defense gun? Is it gonna? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing no, site. No, no, no. Turn around. Turn around. Is that a building down there? Turn around. What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. No turning back now. Oh, Positions, everyone. Fuck. It's coming from the building? Oh, Change course. Shit. Set thrusters to full. Oh, and they were flying straight at it, so they didn't get a glancing hit. They were hit straight on. We aren't going to be getting saved. I don't think... Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. this alien planetary defense facility. Oh, this is so creepy and ominous. Find the... I don't think that should have been an achievement. I don't, I don't like that confirmation. I don't know. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Interesting. Okay. I don't want to check that yet. Um, I think when we get back to our... Um, our escape pod... We will, we will do a, we'll, we'll work through our backlog of, of data tablets. Cause I also skipped over one of the survivor ones. <gasps> the iron cube. I have the cube. High capacity alien energy source. I wonder if we're going to learn 
Analysis of the How patterns on the walls cannot stuff. ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. That would be interesting. Like, that was one thing I really loved about Horizon Zero Dawn was the humans being set back to a primitive, quote unquote, technolo technological state, but still having access to uh, metals and stuff like that. So you had this really fascinating uh, mixing of primitive and futuristic sort of technology. And it would be kind of cool if our character is sort of gets the opportunity to do the same thing. Where we have like alien tech, but we're like meshing it onto our normal human tech. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Question is, are these aliens still around? Is this just an outpost? Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Hey, Kai and my garbage raid! Ah, oh, that can't be a garbage raid. Y'all are pretty cool people. <laughs> Batman loves me. <laughs> Well, right now, I am a worm inside an aquarium. Oh, thanks for welcome, or thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Ziggurat Dark Lover. Hello, if y'all don't know me, I am Drecky Ormer. Let me, let me, let me switch to a more normal form for a second. Um, let me just, oh, all right, let me, oh, oh let me, let me get inside the aquarium. All right. Hello! I am Drekki Ormer, the Draconic Serpent, the Flightless Dragon, or simply a worm. You're on the internet, playing video games. You're told to follow, you're a simple streamer, and you do what's told. <laughs> well, welcome to the Ziggurat. No. Uh, but welcome on by, Kai. I don't know how long you were going, and if any of y'all came over here from Kai's streams and somehow are not following them, let me make that really easy and quick for you, and we'll just hit that little button. You should get a little 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 heart thing you can click in in the chat, and then and then and then you're and then you're following Kai Enma, and you can see some amazing amazing art or some really fun games that they play. Uh, whoops. Uh, meant to still be paused. Uh, what were you up to, Kai? Ah, oh, you are doing some art. Very short stream, because you missed streaming, but you're still sick as a little... Aw. Oh. Yeah, the old travel sickness. You know, I, I avoided the, I avoided the, uh, the plague until I was forced to travel myself. And then I basically immediately got it. Am I an Aztec's sake? I am similar... But it is simply uh, Covergent Evolution. You know, I, I am actually more closely related to, to Jormungandr, the, the aquatic worm. But, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, the same vague Central Southern American locale. Uh, welcome to the Ziggurat. Uh, uh, Tara Zizu and Cactus Oasis, if I, if I, if I forgot. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not related to Quetzalcoatl, you know. Often... Common common point of, of, of mix-up. But, you know, simply all creatures in the jungle tend to have very vibrant plumage. You know? <laughs> Traveling just means sickness for you. Won't do it. I mean, yeah. Hold on, give me a sec. No! No, 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 not the frogs! Oh, no, crap! I won't oh, the frogs! Oh, shit! Oh, come on! I'm gonna lose them in here! I, I'm in this alien facility. I have no idea where those frogs are going to get. You had reminded me of Bowser. Oh. <laughs> Blip. No. No. Yeah, the, uh, the base model is actually a uh, model it, it started from one of my snakes because it is a hog island boa. Um, they're a kind of like a hypomelanistic 
um, boa constrictor. Uh, and they have really cool colors, really cool pattern. Um, but I did want a little bit of more color. So that's where I kind of got the idea to use, you know, the, the vibrant feathers. And it's just kind of worked out pretty well. Um, the artist uh, who did this model and my little worm on a string one is Shadow Fox. Um, they do a bunch of live 2D work. Um, they also have some miscellaneous live 2D stuff if you want to check it out. Um, I also have their little uh, witchy hat, which is pretty fun. Let me go ahead and pop that back on and pin that to my model. I'm already in the aquarium. Might as well as accessorize. Let's put it there. There we go. All right, pet snakes. Yes, I have. I used to have nine at the height, and then I had to, um, I had to rehome a bunch when I moved because uh, the exotics laws vary very largely Whee! between states. Whee! And then I spin, spin, spin. Uh, and also just transporting many serpents across a long distance is, like, it was hard enough with the two snakes I still held on to. I'm also insanely cool every time I look at it. Well, Kai, your art is pretty fucking insane, and I'm always amazed whenever I can watch it happen. And also that amazing, amazing art piece you did for me... Uh, which is why I love being able to give artists a completely free hand to design whatever. Um, if if y'all haven't seen it, and if you are still not convinced that you should throw money at Kai's face uh, as soon as it hits your bank account, um, let me just... Let me add the scene. Where's, where's, uh, where's my temp scene? So that, and then we need to go over to the temp scene and replace the image with the art piece that Kai drew, because I am a very organized Whee! person that knows where everything is. Ah, I'm spinning! <laughs> Hydrate! In this economy? That's probably a good idea, actually. Click on these. I click on that, and then I bury everything really far down, and then I find Kai's piece. Hey, congrats on the rare boob. <gasps> Uni, welcome on by. Got so many fucking amazing artists rolling on by real quick. Um, speaking of people I got to shout out, uh, check out the amazing and beautiful... Oyasumi Uni, um, they are an amazing person. Um, so let me get, all right. So content warning on the piece for possible eye strain. Um, if, if you have any concerns regarding that, um, cause it is a very busy piece. Um, but this was, this was, uh, uh, if y'all are able to see it now, is the Drecky that uh, Kai drew for me. Um, the glitch. Oh, I am afraid you are not able to yeet me, Tarazu. Uh, I hope you have. I hope you enjoy your time in the void, and uh, we'll see you when you're able to claw your way back. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was tempted to vibe and hang out while Kai worked on it, but I was like, you know what? I want this to be a surprise. And so I just kind of I just kind of left the tab on on read. <laughs> um, but uh, it is very beautiful and pretty much uh, any everything I would have wanted to hope with the uh, the prompt. <laughs> I've been trying to get 
idea like it's hard for me to to conceptualize something unless i have an example and because like my like you know my my lore wise i'm kind of running with you know being able to hop between dimensions um you know i'm i'm a dragon so i'm i'm taking the executive decision i can polymorph and change forms and i i, I want to have a bunch of different forms i can swap between um, so I am trying to get a bunch of ideas from people, and as, you know, maybe I get the budget or or the capability um, that things align, I, I do want to get, like, other forms, whether they be PNG tubers, whether they be live 2D, whether they be 3D, question mark? 3D would be nice. You want to be yeeted into the void? It is a little bit random. You can either be yeeted or yeet me you know it's it's a bit of a mixed bag i like to hide little random rng things in most of my redeems so like spin um there's a very random one that happens like when i was making the redeem i made a bug in it that was very funny so i left it in as a rare happen like for it to occur but uh yeah uh let me, let me go ahead and hide that again uh, the Void is a lovely place this time of the year. <laughs> I always love... I, I don't know when Snake Station updated his, updated his animated emotes to have that wobble, but it is pretty good. Oh, and Cactus Oasis joins Tarazuzu in the Void. Well, I hope y'all have a fantastic time um, when y'all manage to get your way back here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for coming on in and vibing here. It's always more fun when there's people around, but I know y'all's time is valuable. Um, and I don't know how long you were streaming, Kai, even though it was pretty short, but I'm still going to be going for a while longer. So you should take a break. Go leave a piss. Take a water. Preferably take the water from someplace you didn't just piss, but I'm not your keeper. So, I mean, you do you. <laughs> um... I'm playing Subnautica, which, if you're not aware, uh, you, is mostly underwater. So if you have thalassophobia um, or, or any kind of issues with that, uh, this, is, this is your forewarning on that front. Um, thank you for stopping on by. Um, hope to see you some other time. I, I stream Mondays and Fridays and Saturdays now. Um, different things on each day. I want to yeet yourself into the shower, but it's on cooldown. <laughs> uh, but let's jump back into Subnautica. Um, there was a rescue ship that was coming in, um, but it turns out this strange facility, this alien facility I found, is some kind of uh, planetary defense uh, 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 anti-ship gun and just straight up blew it up so i'm kind of doing some exploration of it laurel hey iced uh, uh maybe if whoa. oh shit that's way further down than i thought it was gonna be all right well thankfully we have a helpful alien grav not really a lift, more like a more like a drop, a gravity drop. Yeah, floral, a little directy flower. I'm really happy how that turned out. My original idea was like a side profile, but then they're like, "What about head on?" I'm like, "You know what? I like the cut of your jib. Do that instead." Ooh. We have an underwater alien ship. What if the aliens are all aquatic entities? And if we go too far deep, we run into them. I'm not sure how much combat this game is going to have, though. Like, we have, you know, the the fishies, and that one really, really big fishy. Ooh, the alien rifle. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yep, seems like a rifle. Seems pretty alien. I agree. I hope you're doing pretty good today, Ice. I know you said you were pretty busy. I couldn't um, sync up for the 
uh, Rain World tournament stuff. Um, if you're still staying up, we can maybe see how that goes, or I can try and get up extra early tomorrow. We can square things away. But yeah. All right, another purple tablet. I must collect all the things. All right, we are going to drop some mushrooms. Uh, why can't I drop things in my inventory? Uh, game? Uh, did I not leave anything since I got in here? That's not very cash money of the game. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on. Where's the water again? Let me see if I can drop it in the water. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, don't worry about it. wipe all those on the stream all good. Just to make sure we have us. Okay. I mean, I, I will definitely be there for a host. I, I just I didn't want to um overtake if other people wanted to um do stuff. Oh, no. I am certainly perfectly fine with yapping my trap. <laughs> All right, now we have room for purple square. Um, and where is the green thing I passed up? Ah! And just some casual leg breaking. I don't have any more water. That might be a problem. Okay, let's continue onward and hope I don't desiccate myself as I get lost in this alien facility and am very far from hydration station. Ooh. Ah, yes. The alien device. Some sort of doomsday device. Ah, yes. Of course. Everyone knows. You know, you have... You have like a, a, a triangular sphere little... You know what this reminds me of? If you ever saw those... Uh, um, they were like extendo sphere things. Like you could collapse them down into a small ball, but like you could also like grab two of them and pull... No! No, you fool! No, what have you done? What have you done? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa! Stretching me out! <laughs> See, this is why I made a way to move my model even while I'm in a full screen game. A lot more fun when I can interact with uh, scan redeems like that. <laughs> read about his read about his lore is very important. I am holding on to all of our lore stuff until we get back to our drop pod. So I can do a bit of reading all together. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. As we know, purple squares affect force fields. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, what happens if I do... You know, I may be a nuclear engineer now, but now I'll be an alien nuclear engineer. Seek fluid and take immediately. I don't want to drink fluid. I want to scan things and push buttons. Oof. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, All right. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. This planet is under quarantine? Oh, what if that's why there's the, the, the... Translating background broadcast. Downloading Ooh, summary to data bank. Hey, Solder. Thanks for stopping on by. I hope you have a good time foraging in the jungle. Um, so, I thought it was a planetary defense gun, but 
maybe it's a weapon to prevent anything from escaping. So, like, if anyone visits this planet and they try to leave, it'll shoot them down. So I wonder if that's related to, like, that bacteria we were detecting. So I wonder... So I know it's been a long time since I've read and found out flower disease. <laughs> oh no, I'm sprouting petals. Ah! Ah! I'm turning into a sunflower. Um, I think it's been theorized that uh, there's car you know carbon-based life forms. Carbon's you know very important material in a lot of the things that allow us to live and exist. But I want to say I've read a thing where it's possible that silica or silicone-based life forms would be another potential way for life to exist. Um, it would just be different. I'm wondering if the angle it's going with this is like all of this oxygen and stuff is toxic to them, but as a you know oxygen as a carbon-based life form that breathes not nitrogen oxygen general atmosphere kind of thing it's our natural habitat kind of situation so it's like oh this evil toxic oxygen and, and carbon it's spreading everywhere and these microbes oh no they're taking over they're destroying the ec the ecology damn climate control it's turning our planet blue and it's it's raining all the acid rain's going away, and now it's just all this water! Shame that, you know, it's destroying all of our ships. Um, strange that apparently there's a background broadcast that none of the ships were picking up. But maybe one of the alien things that we got is, like... The whole translation thing, you know, we had a direct resource to translate from. Um, it also seems they have some pretty sick, nasty biometrics. So I'll probably need to check those data logs we picked up to find what we've learned. But I don't think we can go any further in this facility, so let's go ahead and try to leave. Now, we also have a problem in that... The one ship that lucked upon us in this, like, out-of-the-way path has been shot down, presumably without giving any sort of distress signal of its own. So, the odds of us getting rescued is quite low, one might. We're just gonna have to, uh, survive this shit. Alright, I need to grab a bladder fish and turn it into water. Quick. Uh, uh, I don't know if I instantly die if my hydration hits zero. I feel like I will slowly lose health. Periodically. That is my hope. I, I've been able to avoid dying from running out of resources so far. It's been very narrow. I have almost drowned a couple times because I just wasn't paying attention. But this is the lowest any of my hunger and hydration have got. Actually, my hunger has not gone down very much. It seems to just be sitting at that value. Range. Hmm. All right. We need to. How far away? Fifteen hundred meters. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. What are you? Secret I scanned you. I scanned you. It's a Reginald. Can I eat Reginald. I lose oxygen. I lose water. Oh, yep. We are taking periodic damage. I don't know what the fuck those are. They look like they have scythe hands, and I'm busy drowning. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna drown. 
I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. I like how I'm... Why am I screaming? Can I, can I like, eat a bladder fish and get water? Hydration, maybe? <laughs> Fuck! Well, shit. Well, we got our first death due to running out of resources. Great. What did we lose? Oh, fuck that. I had a full inventory. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to not fuck around, and we are going to quickly find out and get back to our ship. Okay, hold on. We need to make room. <clears throat> what the ever-loving? How did I take Scans damage? Indicate this structure is composed Fuck of a you, metal dude. alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Analyze the things. All right, get the translation. Unknown language. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Attempting translation. Translate like language. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. Awesome. Amazing. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, there's that cube I wanted. Why not scan the iron cubes? Scan the cube. Perfect. We have to come back to check the Analysis arch as well. Of the patterns of the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further Rod. data required. Rod. Collect the cubes. We must have all the cubes. More Unknown downloads. Good shit, good shit. Imagine those downloads are going to... Wait, enforcement platform schematic? Damn, imagine if we could build our very own is achieved uh, by planetary defense system. Oh, the Altera Corporation's gonna try and collect on that debt I've been building from all these resources I'm harvesting? Fuck you, try and get Picking past my guns now. I own signature. this planet. Trading vessel Sunbeam. Vessel is approaching planet surface and initiating surface scanning procedures. Wait, what? Detecting massive power surge from anomalous contact. Energy discharge detected. Vessel signature lost. Oh, because I wasn't outside. That's right. My last save was right before the ship arrived. Interesting. So being inside this facility, we could not hear the broadcast from the sh uh, the sunbeam. And we had different... Dialogue. Fascinating. I wonder if things change if you like you beeline straight for here before the sunbeam um, is in range. I wonder if like you can give them a warning or something like that. Be like, hey, you're gonna get shot down. Don't try and rescue. Come back in a couple Scans of days. Indicate the facility's control room. Lies beyond this doorway. Yeah. Your puny control room can't stop human ingenuity. By human ingenuity, I mean like picking picking up tablets that are lying around and like putting them into things. Alright, we push the button. We get our blood sugar checked. Now, usually, you don't want to stab the forearm, like, the fingertip is just fine and perfectly acceptable. Broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Well, shit. Background broadcast. Downloading That's not good. Alright, sounds like the, uh, the, uh, the situation isn't we have incompatible life forms. Because uh, it sounds like that bacteria is fucking us up. Alright, so... That's the water. Did I see another exit, though? 
I think that's just to go back. Oh, I forgot to scan the alien rifle. Whoopsies. We can't forget that. We've got to know our, our our alien enemy's capability. You know? <gasps> Ooh, one of the gates. And a cube. Hmm. I could have sworn... The thing's not popping up. I wonder if I need to put the cube in the... Maybe I need to lock the chevron over on the island. Maybe that one's like a shortcut over into the facility. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's not die of thirst and get the frickety frackety fuck out of here. That was our inventory. Uh, we can grab one of those metal scraps I dropped on our way out. I'm gonna need to grab, like, a couple... a couple, uh, bladder fish to squeeze oxygen. Um, that bacterial infection is a bit of a concern, so I guess the fact that there's, uh, filtered water is not for nothing. I'm wondering if we will need to build, like, a decontamination thing to purge ourselves of the bacteria, and I wonder if the bacteria, like, over time, it might start impacting our maximum health, perhaps, or cause us to take damage slowly. Hmm. <laughs> It'd be kind of a frustrating uh, issue you might soft lock yourself with if that's the case, though. Although I guess you could get around it by making it so like when a character dies, it uh, purges X, purges X percent of bacteria so you have time to unfuck yourself. Rather than getting stuck in a death loop. Certainly is always a problem when you like save your game or something right before something super difficult and you get killed. Uh, I would rather hold on to these lithium deposits, actually. Actually, hold on. We can drop one of each mushroom, so I need to get some bladder fish. Dang biters. I need to come back here to check out some of the fauna. I did see those weird... Ooh! Oh, those things can teleport! Oh! Hey, Mystic! Damn, this is an evening of artists to gather. Welcome on by Mystic! I hope you had a fantastic time arting. Hey, oh, Candy, Captain Kui, Clueless, the wolf pack is here to cause chaos. Nice! If y'all don't know who I am, I am Drekki Ormer, a Draconic Serpent, a Flightless Dragon, or simply a Worm, here on the internet, playing some video games. If y'all somehow got here following the wonderful, amazing Mystic, and are not following them as well, let me make that easy for you. You know, you can just see that little heart right there in your chat, you just click on that, bam, you're following them. It's that easy, super simple. Uh, welcome to the Ziggurat, Clueless. I hope you enjoy your time here. I hope you had a great time uh, arting Mystic. It's always fun to see uh, what you're up to, whether you're working on uh, maybe a model idea or just doing some general uh, Dead by Daylight shenanigans with other cool people. <laughs> I'm a brave one playing Subnautica. Look, I played Outlast a couple week weekends ago, all right? This is like baby baby horror to me now. Honestly, my biggest issue with Subnautica right now is the music. In that the damn music keeps cutting out. I want the music to stay playing. Uh, I thought I found a mod that would fix that so it, would, it wouldn't fade out as much, but it did the opposite and made the problem worse. With the Lassophobia, yeah. I mean, as long as we're not going off a continental shelf, I'm okay. I'm fine with like general sort of ocean 
and I haven't really had to go too deep into any underwater caves. Um, so I've been okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely content warning uh, uh, for Subnautica if you have thalassophobia or uh, fear of deep water stuff. Um, this is your warning that this, this is a game that takes place on Waterworld. It's pretty much all underwater stuff for the most part. Disregarding like the last hour or so where I was exploring uh, a land and an alien facility. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, stream was good. Got to play some Dead by Daylight and with some working on it. Nice. That is good to hear. I can't wait. Can't wait to see uh, uh, what's, what's, what's progressed on that. It gets way worse. Uh, we'll see. Uh, definitely, please, no, no, like, spoilers or anything like that. Um, I like to go into things blind. Uh, if, if I have a genuine, if I, if I want some genuine help or, or have a genuine question, I'll usually, like, specifically ask a, a, a chat and be like, hey, re real talk, can you give me a, can you point me in the right direction, et cetera, et cetera. But other than that, I, I, I prefer to bumble around myself and figure things out. Um... I wasn't sure how much. Um, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get back because I am almost drowning and I need to fix that problem. Um, but also, Mystic, uh, I don't know how long you were going, but this is your time to take a fucking break, girl. Go leave a piss. Go take a water. All right. Probably probably don't take the water from the same place you piss. But I'm not your keeper. I'm I'm just a snake on the internet. What am I? I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um. I've personally beaten the game a few times, but suffer heavily from... Oh! Well, good on you for, um... Sort of working through... I assume you, you might be, like, doing, like, um... Like, exposure stuff. Uh, like, as, as a snake aficionado, you know, I know some people, like, will hang out on snake subreddits or something just to kind of, uh, work through and improve, um, their issues or, or fears with reptiles and snakes. You finish the face except for the mouth? Nice. Well, I mean, I, I would say the face is like 80% of, of the model effort. It's like you have a lot of small things and like I feel like the face has so much room for expression and potential. Um, I feel like of any place to spend a lot of your energy on, the face is a good, good area. Big fan of space stuff, that's the only reason. Yeah, space and underwater are fairly similar uh, in a lot of aspects. So I can I can definitely see that that the line being drawn there. Say after you play through it, I highly recommend watching a video about the biology of the games. I'm definitely very fascinated uh, with um, the creatures and such so far. I uh, can't wait till we get to the tech level of making aquariums, because I need to have one of most everything. These giant farter guy, the, the, the farting manatees, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to have one of those in my aquarium. They can, they can keep doing whatever they're doing far away from me in the ocean. Can I go grab dinner, but will you be lurking? Ah, that's no problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. It's always more fun getting up to shenanigans when other people are around. I kinda like that guy that put me in this little aquarium. Uh -oh, I'm stuck! I'm in a jar! Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of fluid intake, where's some fucking bladder fish? Get over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's all I can fit. All right, so we'll get two bottles of water. Uh, we'll break our salvage down because I need to make another storage container. Or two, probably two. Probably have some radio and then um, Bacon. Maintains and broadcasts its position. Good. 
Let's make two storage lockers. Um, if I have any titanium left... Actually, I do need to make some more pipes. Um, what did I need coral tube samples for? Coral tube sample. Coral tube sample. Coral bleach! Right! So I can make the good Wawa. I... I'm going to keep making the bad water for now. But I want to stockpile that. Just because I do want to see where the bacteria thing is going. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's um, drop our new floating inventories and then put stuff in them. We release this. And let's put... Um, Coral tubes, stalker tubes, this, this, this. Um, we'll put a lithium in there. We have a diamond from gold. All right. And then let's release our other thing. I want to put our copper. Reach her egg. I should put the salt and the other thing together now that I think about it. So, salt and coral thing. So, I'll put. Um, no, I want the titanium because I can still use those. Alright, so. Coral over here with salt. Just so we keep those together. Uh, did I make room for four? Perfect. Let's take the creature egg, just so we can kind of consolidate them a little bit. Accidentally renamed this. Okay, cool beans. It's now named Ah! It's now named Ah! Right. Um, actually, we need more water. Let me do a harvesting expedition, so I can make a bunch of... Wawa. For some reason, we're really good on food, and I don't know why. Get in my hands, bladderfish. Ooh. Does that paper have a floater? Or is that floater stuck to a peeper? <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's, that's pretty silly. We've been, fine. We've been seeing a lot of silly things today. Uh, between the, uh, the random piece of, uh, uh, grass floating in the middle of the ocean, uh, down to that. No! Oh! Go away, explodey fish! Alright, give me your sulfur. Give me your cave sulfur. Good shit. Back to the bladder fish. Bladder fish. Giant coral tubes. You heading to bed? It's already earlier, so your body's drinking as fuck. All these guys back to bed. That is no problem. I hope y'all have a fantastic rest of your evenings and a rejuvenating evening. I'll see you the next time I see ya. I certainly very much understand battery. God! Oh, I might look into... Because I know there's a... The other, only other music-related mod I saw lets you play your own music in the game. And I'm thinking what I might do is find a rip of the music files and just put that in there. 
just so I didn't have the music playing constantly. Because that is my biggest complaint right now. It's not. I want the music to be constant. Or at least not have as big of breaks as it has been. I also need to find if there is a crafting mod that will let me do multi-crafting. I think that's the only other crafting mod for quality of life I would want to check for. I, I did like a very superficial looking because I didn't want to accidentally spoil myself on stuff somehow. Um, I think I can, it would do to be a little bit more specific. Alright, let's make one more locker. Um... I kind of want to go back and scan those teleporting creatures before I forget. I think I think that is what I'm gonna do. I think that's I think that's what I'll do. We can craft purple tablets. Interesting. Very. Int also, let's mm, take titanium. I don't want to do that. We still need a table coral. I need to look for... T I think table coral is going to be one of the things I need a knife. That's what it was for the other thing. For the, for the thing I needed bleach. I didn't realize... I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, I need to knife this damn thing. Alright, so in here we're going to store... The cave sulfur and the copper... Um, we'll put the titanium all in there too while we're at it. Wait, is our health going down? I swear I saw our health go to something to 45. Um, let's go ahead and use our free med kit so we can get that starting again. Um... One iron cube in here just in case. And let me save.